Hey guys, it's Ali, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about some things that I dislike about American Girl. As much as I do love American Girl, I have spent the past eight years of my life collecting it, and I've spent way too much money on it. There are still some aspects to the brand and what they are releasing that I'm not a big fan of. Some of these might be considered unpopular opinions, some of these are definitely popular opinions, so make sure that you keep watching till the very end so you can hear what my opinions are about the new historical re-release because I have some opinions that are not necessarily popular ones on that whole release. So we are going to start off with the colored hair dolls. Out of the newer Truly Me's to be released, a lot of them have had colorful hair, whether that is a bright pink wig or one that has some natural colors but then some unnatural ones mixed in, talking about you with the blue hair. Even certain dolls like the special edition Sugar Plum Fairy doll had colored hair. They've added pink hair to the CYO line and I am not a huge fan of it. One or two dolls with colored hair is fine, but the fact that I feel like in a lot of their more recent advertisements or their series, all that they ever promote are the new colored hair dolls, and they don't seem to be releasing any dolls that don't have colored hair, it's kind of annoying for me. Especially being part of the Truly Me line, that line is dolls that are supposed to represent you, and given that their target audience is 8 to 12 years old, I haven't seen that many 8 to 12 12 year olds who have dyed their hair. Maybe the occasional Kool-Aid dye for crazy hair day, but to go full on bright pink with your hair at 8 to 12 years old, I've never seen that. I miss when American Girl used to be all about having the mini me's, that's how I got into American Girl. It's just not my personal favorite thing. One thing that Lynn Life did talk about in a recent video though, and I would love to see this from American Girl as well, are if they want to go crazy with the whole dyed hair concept, to do something a bit more natural. For example, maybe some dark brown roots and then they'll fade to a nice golden blonde. That's actually what I want to get done to my hair. I would love to see something like that. Yes, I still don't see that many 8 to 12 year olds with hair like that. However, it is a lot more natural than bright pink hair. And it's something that I feel like would appeal to a lot more older collectors as well. Another thing that I dislike is that a lot of the clothing that they've been releasing recently looks very young. As I've said probably a million times throughout this video, yes, I'm aware American Girl targets their products towards 8 to 12 year olds. However, I have not seen that many 8 to 12 year olds who will dress like what American Girl has been releasing. Especially with the rise in social media platforms like TikTok, where even though they're not technically supposed to, a lot of 10, 11, and 12 year olds will be on that platform, and the way that they dress is a lot more mature than how kids used to dress back in like the mid 2000s, for example. Now, I'm no expert on American Girl's statistics. I don't know how much of their sales is made up by teen and adult collectors. However, I do know that with a lot of their recent releases, they are losing out on all of those customers because I don't want to buy a shirt with a kitty cat on it. They do have a few hits nowadays, such as the Ireland outfit or the holiday outfit they released last year for the boy dolls. I thought those were really cute and good for any age, but I just want to see their clothing be a little bit more mature. A lot of people always praise the 90s American Girl clothing, not just for quality, but for how stylish it is. This could be because a lot of 90s clothing trends have come back in style nowadays but it could also be that a lot of the pieces that they made back in those days are a lot more neutral, like a plaid shirt, a gray top with a simple American Girl written on it, a nice pair of mom jeans. They're just really simple basics that can mix and match well with so many pieces, compared to nowadays where they'll go crazy on the patterns, crazy on the sequins, and it's a lot harder to make cute outfits. The next one is a very small pet peeve, but it is that certain items on the American Girl website don't ship to Canada. Now this is super nitpicky, but as a Canadian collector, the biggest joke was when American Girl put in their sales section the Canada store exclusive shirt, and under that shirt it says, cannot ship to Canada. What's the point? Like, what American is going to be buying that Canada shirt? I feel like that's for the Canadian consumers, but we can't get that shirt. Even some more recent examples are the new 35th anniversary dolls. They're so pretty. I'm in a group chat with a few Canadian collectors, and a lot of people wanted to get their hands on these dolls. However, they do not ship to Canada, and with the border being closed due to the current state of the world, there is no way for us to ship the dolls to our US PO boxes and then go and pick them up because we cannot cross the border. So that's very very annoying. I don't really know why they can't ship certain items to Canada. Mm -hmm. 
maybe if it's because of the whole free shipping guarantee type of thing, because it usually tends to be bigger items. I'm sure a lot of Canadians would be willing to pay for shipping. At least we still do have most items available in Canada though. The fourth thing that I dislike about American Girl is that they do not make enough boy clothing. I don't know how well the boy dolls sell. They haven't been retired, so I'd assume they sell decently, but American Girl doesn't provide a lot of outfits for them compared to the girl dolls. It's a similar thing if you collect both boy dolls and girl dolls where you've got to kind of prioritize where your money's going towards. Do I want to spend my money on an outfit that only one of my dolls can wear or buy an outfit that 21 of my dolls can wear? I have that dilemma all the time. However, American Girl as the manufacturer, I wish that they would produce more boy doll outfits. The holiday ones that they've done for the past two years, I really love them. I own both of them. I feel like they're not too childish or anything. So I really would love to see more boy outfits for the American Girl dolls. And I wish that they wouldn't neglect that line as much. Stop producing colored hair dolls and start producing more cute boy doll clothing. Thank you. The last thing, the tea. I dislike the historical re-release. I feel like I'm gonna have to explain myself on this one. So a lot of people were really hyped up about the historical re-release that just came out last night at the time of this recording. And I do understand why. A lot of people grew up with those Pleasant Company dolls and they're very happy to have them come back. However, I am not happy about it. American Girl items, especially those Pleasant Company dolls, they are kind of collector items. You save them for your kids if you want one on eBay in perfect condition. You've got to pay a ton of money for it. Now, I do not own any of these dolls in those Pleasant Company original forms. However, I feel like for a lot of people who have collected those dolls and it's their pride and joy, they would be kind of annoyed that American Girl is re-releasing those dolls because all of the worth that their doll has accumulated over the years is suddenly gone because, oh, she's back in stock. I do hear that the new dolls have neck strings, which is nice to see. However, I feel like the quality is just not gonna be the same as the old 90s versions of these dolls. If you still don't understand where I'm coming from, I'm gonna kind of change up the narrative a little bit. But let's say American Girl brought back all of the retired girl of the years, including Kanani. Yay, you can get a cheap Kanani. But for all the people who do own a Kanani and felt really lucky to own a Kanani, then the worth of their Kanani just went way down. I guess it's like this in any type of collector industry when they re-release things, but it is something that I'm definitely not as hyped about as the others because I like having them as historical artifacts to kind of remember the history of American Girl. Maybe if they brought back an outfit or to, I would like that more, but I just feel like the whole doll and the whole meet up thing, it's cute, but I like them more as collector items. And I know they're still marketed as collector's items, but I think for collectors and as a collector myself, it's nice to have them keep their value and now they're losing their value a little bit. Those are just my thoughts. Please let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on the historical re-release? Am I alone in this opinion? Cause it seems to be the unpopular one on AGIG, but I just really wanted to get my opinion out there. Every single story on Instagram is people freaking out about the dolls and I'm just not into it at all. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. These are just my opinions. So don't dislike the video just because you dislike my opinions. That's really petty. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more American Girl videos. And of course, have an amazing day and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye!